Hello everyone, my name is Wendy Warren and this is a short little video to explain to you how to use the self-help tool of meridian tapping. Um, you've probably been to one of my classes so you already know the background to what it's all about and this is really just designed to show you exactly how to do it as a reminder. Okay, so let's just go over quickly what the uh, different points are that you'll use. So it's the beginning of the eyebrow here, right? So right where the hair starts, I usually use two fingers tapping right there. Then on the side of the eye, right on the bone here, so not over on your temple, but on the bone. The next spot is underneath your eye. So right here on the bone again, in the center of the eye, kind of right where the bottom of my glasses are, tapping there. Often it's easier to do without glasses, but I can't see very well without them to show you what we're doing here. Um, then underneath your nose, right? There between your nose and your lip. Again, underneath your lip and your chin. Right there. Then on the collarbone, that little knobby part of your collarbone, right? So you know that little rounded part of the bone? You can tap right there. Either side for any of this. Sometimes some people like to do this so they hit both of them at the same time. That's fine too. The next one is underneath your arm. It's about three inches down. Um, just You're gonna find kind of a tender spot there potentially. So tapping right there, I usually use my thumb. You can also reach across your body and do it that way. All right, and then the top of your head, right there in the middle, I kind of just do a little circle around and around. And there we go. And then you can also go into points on your fingers, but what I like to do is just do the insides of your wrists together because you're hitting all the meridians run down through your fingers through here. So you're hitting all of them at once right there. Okay, so those are the points. So now how you're going to do it is you remember you do um, a setup statement. So this is something, that, now sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't because if, um, if you're really in the middle of something, you've been flown into fight, fight, flight, or freeze, your system doesn't need to be told what the issue is. It already knows what's up. So you can just start tapping if you like. Um, but you're not going to hurt anything by, by doing this. So you're going to do the um, karate chop point right here on the edge with a couple of fingers tapping along there. Or the sore spots, which are, if you come to those knobby points again on your collarbone, come down three inches and out three inches. Right in there on either side, you're going to find again some tender spots. So you can rub one or the other of those, okay? So basically, what you're doing is a setup statement. You're identifying what the issue is. So the example we did in class was around restricted breathing. And we did do this setup because most of you hadn't been thinking about, you know, oh gosh, I'm not getting you know, really deep breaths. I wanted to bring that up in your awareness so that we could work with it. And that's where the setup is really helpful. So um, so sometimes if you don't get a chance to um, to tap in the moment when something's gone wrong and you have to wait an hour or two till you get to a quiet space, then it's helpful to do this setup again to remind your system of, you know, okay, when I had that interaction with somebody or when I, I had that accident or I fell or whatever, then you probably want to remind your system of, of what you're trying to focus on. So we're going to do the restricted breathing again because you're familiar with it. Um, so what you'll say is even though I have this restricted breathing or whatever the problem is, and then you describe what's going on. So I, it's hard to get a full breath. I um, would like to be able to breathe more easily. And then you follow it up with a statement that basically just tells your system that even though this is an issue, in the big picture, I'm fine, right? I'm, <laughs> I don't need to be in fight, flight, or freeze. So what we say is either I'm, I'm okay and all is well, or I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So whichever is more comfortable for you. And then you just repeat some version of that two times. I usually use this um, as a, I just talk about the problem. So if I'm upset about something, I'll just talk about what I'm upset about. And it, it brings it up within your energetic system. So that's what's teed up. And then when you do the, the actual tapping through the points, it helps clear the, um, the energetic blocks that are in there. So you go back through. So even though I have this restricted breathing, it's really hard for me to get a deep breath and I would love to breathe more freely, but I'm okay and all is well. Third time, even though I have this restricted breathing, I find it hard to get a full breath. I would like to be able to breathe easily and I'm okay and all is well. And then you come around to the points and you just talk about it. It's called a reminder phrase. So you can either say the same thing, this restricted breathing, 
this restricted breathing. This restricted breathing. This restricted breathing. Or you could continue to talk about the problem. Hard to get a good breath. Would like to breathe more easily. Restricted breathing. I would like to breathe more easily. This restricted breathing. And then pause. Take a deep breath, even when you're not talking about restricted breathing, it's always good to take a nice deep breath after a round of tapping. And that's where we come back and look at how intense is it. And I forgot to say that at the beginning, but you want to see if you can do an, um, an assessment of the intensity. So zero to 10, how big is this problem? How keyed up am I? Um, and it's just a nice way to assess what the impact is. So if you forget to do it, I often, as you can tell, forget to do it. Um, not a big deal. It's just sometimes it helps you understand um, how much things have shifted. Usually I just feel it in my own body. Okay. So, um, so then, then you say, okay, I, wow, I feel so much better. I'm good to go. Or, okay, I'm feeling better, but I'm still kind of worked up. So you would just continue this, this continued restricted breathing or talking about the problem still really feeling upset about what that person said to me and feeling like I'm tired of being the victim about it. And you would just you know, keep talking through <laughs> whatever the issue is for you. And what you'll notice is as you're doing this, you're going to find that you want to take a breath, right? So listen to the breathing. Energy, breath is energy in our body. So when you are stimulated and inspired to take a deeper breath, really pay attention to that. So you're just going through. And what this is doing is it's pulling you out of fight, flight, or freeze. If you forget to do any of the points, don't worry about it. I really believe that it is, um, your body knows. So like we talked about, each of these points is connected to a Chinese energy meridian that has certain emotional attributes and physical attributes and different things that are associated with it. And, um, and you don't need to know all of that. You just want to tap on all the points. And so if you forget one, it's my belief that it wasn't involved in your issue anyway, or your, you intuitively would have made sure that you hit that point. Okay. Um, and you may notice on some of the points that, that it, you're inspired to take a deep breath. All of a sudden you feel like... Ooh, I need to take a breath. Follow that guidance. That's moving energy. That's clearing energy. Okay. So hopefully this is helpful for you. I would love for you to get to try using this technique as much as you can. It is, it's something that it's not going to hurt anything and it can make such a profound difference. I think our philosophy in um, this modern society of ours is that we need to go, go, go. We need to put up with it. I remember there was a time um, I was kind of having a conflict about something when I was out with somebody close to me. And I remember thinking like, okay, I'll, I'll just do that tapping thing when I get back. And, and then I realized back to our hotel and I was, that wasn't going to be for like two hours. And it, it struck me. I thought, well, so I'm just going to suffer for the next two hours and I'm going to be upset with this close person to me for the next two hours and waste the time that we have together being upset because I knew that what they had said to me was it just, kind of pulled up my old stuff, right? And there wasn't really anything wrong. There wasn't any real conflict. It was just stirring me up. And but my reaction, my tendency was to, well, I'm just going to power through and suffer through this. But what I did, I ended up, we were just kind of wandering through some stores waiting for a, a table for dinner. And I went and found a quiet point of corner of the store and just faced all of the, the kitchen implements that were in the corner. And I started tapping in the corner and I decided I didn't care if anybody noticed me. Um, and I was facing away from most people anyway. And so I just, I tapped through it. I felt so much better. I was able to enjoy the next two hours with this person who was very dear to me. And we were on this wonderful trip and it made such a difference. So I really encourage you to try this as soon as you can after you notice um, that you've, you've taken that emotional energetic hit and use the tapping to help clear that out, to take you out of fight, flight, or freeze, and to really engage fully in life. All right, you guys have a great day.